Good Monday morning guys, another working week starts. Hope you're all safe, hope you're all keeping safe and hope you're all following the advice. Uh, yeah, another working week starts. Michelle's just getting her lunch together and she's going to head off to work in probably about five minutes. And ten minutes after that, or five minutes after that, sorry, in ten minutes time, I will be moving through and starting my working day. So we, for my first full week of isolation, let's say this, because I must admit, uh, I w wouldn't, we'd already planned and staying in, no, we hadn't, sorry, I'm telling lies. We'd planned and staying in last weekend. This weekend we had a lot to do, but obviously all that got canceled. Uh, normally it doesn't bother me about staying in for a weekend, knowing that you're kind of recharging the batteries, but this week weekend was different, knowing that you really couldn't go out. Um, and just staring on the, down the barrel of possibly up to, what, three months of this. Uh, you know, I'm starting to go stir-crazy already. I never thought that would happen. But, yeah, we'll keep we'll keep an eye on it. And we'll see. I'm obviously going to have to start finding something to do around the house. Other than vlogging, of course. Anyway, with that, I will get ready for work and I shall start my commute in nine minutes' time because it's a whole minute to my workplace today. Moving on. Hi guys, that's my working day over with. I'm just waiting for Michelle to come home now. Well, the commute was a bit rough this this evening. It took me a minute and a half. I need to need to, need to finish on time. Well, don't know what we're going to do tonight. Well, let's wait and see what Michelle does. She's actually nipped in to uh, the local shop. Cost cutters, what used to be called cost cutters, now called greens, I think. And she's going to see if she can get some milk because we didn't manage to get any at the weekend. Let's see what happens. Oh, milk and bread so she can have sandwiches for lunch because I believe now Michelle's been put on like a split shift system where she's going to work half a day at work and. Oh, cat distracted me. Half a day at work, half a day at home. Alternate. I think she's working at work, she's going to go to work in the morning. And then, hello, she's going to go to work in the morning and then work from home in the afternoon and swap about the week after. What are you saying? Kit Kat wants attention, so I better go on before you see him biting me. Moving on. Hi, guys, that's uh, Monday night coming to an end. Now, we've just watched the announcement by the Prime Minister there. Um, for all intents and purposes, Britain is now in lockdown, in all, in all but name apparently, he, excuse me, he never actually used that name, being in lockdown. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland, did say lockdown, so that's us, uh, non-essential travel could be... Um, you could be fined, basically. But the end of this week, they'll have uh, legislation in place where the police can enforce and fine. Before then, they're just going to turn you around and send you home. Now, they've also asked for all shops to be shut, other than what really is essential. So all clothes shops are shut in, electronic shops are shut in. Oh, yeah, we're in lockdown. Now, Michelle's still going to work. Uh... I don't know, well hopefully that won't last too long because she can work from home. I don't know why she's not working from home, but it's not my decision, it's not her decision either. Uh, other than she goes into basically voluntary self-isolation, which then means she doesn't get paid. So It is what it is at the moment, watch this space, we'll see what they come out with tomorrow. But yeah, Britain is now in lockdown, which it's weird because, I don't know, what just popped into my brain then was civil liberties and stuff like that. It's, it's not a matter of civil liberties, it's a matter of saving people's lives. What people have got to realise is that uh, you meet up with people 
one person has it they'll infect five people then five people will infect 20 people or whatever and it goes on and on and on so it's a dangerous time it's dangerous times dangerous times but with that said got to keep our spirits up so Monday night I get to work from home again tomorrow I don't have to, have to meet anybody although I did get a, a delivery today where the guy knocked on my door handed me all the parcel I said okay uh, I've got a sign for this and they sat then could suppose he was supposed to put it on the doorstep step back but he didn't he just give it me well yeah that was before today but anyway with that, I think I'm going to call it. Now, Michelle's actually upstairs FaceTiming her friends, so she's already gone up to bed. But with that, I'm going to join her. So, it's a good night for me, and it's a good night for Michelle upstairs. So, I shall speak to you all tomorrow from Britain in Lockdown. Moving on. Hi, guys. I have absolutely no idea what day it is. Tuesday. It's Tuesday, apparently. Now, uh, our situation here has changed since the lockdown. Michelle is now working at home as well, so I've been in Michelle's library working and Michelle's been in the front room working. And the cat's been going between us and annoying us. Uh, what Michelle did this morning when she got up, because she wasn't quite sure what was going on, she was waiting for instruction, uh, she put on some beef olives in the slow cooker, didn't you? I did. And they smell awesome. Sounds like we've got gravy. My job is to make the gravy. I just don't know how to do it yet. Okay guys, it turns out I don't know how to make gravy, apparently. I didn't know there was no bistle in it. Just assumed. Didn't, I wasn't given proper instructions. Was I? Or any instructions for that matter. Oddly enough, I thought it was a bit self-explanatory, but you know. My bad. Yeah. yeah, you didn't give it. Yeah, you are. My, uh, you, you let you set me up to fail. Moving on. <laughs>